Yeah, good evening everyone. Today we will discuss about uh, the main concepts like master pages, navigation controls and themes and skins. Let us see how to work with this concept. So I will try to open my Visual Studio editor. So what is a master page actual? Master page is generally it is used to maintain some part of the web page constant throughout your website. So generally in HTML we can maintain some part of the web page constant by using a frame tags concept. But in ASP.NET 2.0 onwards Microsoft has introduced a concept called master pages. So initially we can go to new project and there you can select the web and there I am trying to select ASP.NET empty website empty web application and click on OK button. And here I will go to the solution explorer right click on the web, um, web application add new item and here I will try to select the master page we cannot execute the master page directly if you want to execute the master page you have to add the master page to any of the other ASPX pages so here I will write something like demo site one dot master click on add button so whenever you add the master page by default content placeholder will be available here you can see the pink color rectangle box it is a content placeholder means whatever the design that you done within the content placeholder only that part will vary from one page to another page the remaining code is uh, remaining part of the web page is common throughout your particular website so right click on the content placeholder and click on cut and here click on s now here if you observe clearly it is looking like your normal ASPX space. So here I will go to the table on the menu. Insert a table. Number of rows 3 and number of columns 2 I will give. So content placeholder means whatever the design that we done within the content placeholder it is uh, constant throughout your website. So here I will go to the uh, table and I have added and uh, I will select the first row, right click, modify, merge cells. And here I will select the second row, right click the entire second row, select, modify, merge cells. Let us assume this is A part, and this is B part, and this is C part, and this is D part. Paste the content placeholder in D part. And here in A part, I will go to the toolbox and I will try to drag and drop an image control in A part and in B part I will try to drag and drop one menu control. So under your toolbox you can see navigation controls will be there. There I will try to drag and drop the menu control and in C part I will try to drag and drop the tree view control. Tree view control. So whatever the design that you have done in A part, B part and C part, the design is constant throughout your website. So whatever the design that you done within the content placeholder, only that page will be vary from uh, one page to another page. Initially, I will go to the Solution Explorer and here I will try to add a new folder. Right click, add new folder, rename the folder as images. So I want to add one image in my solution explorer. Right click add existing item. Go to the desktop and here you can select the image. Some uh, image you can select. I am selecting one image WD add button. So select the image. Right click properties. Here you can see image URL. Select the image and click on OK button. Then automatically the image is added onto your design window right so whatever the image you want to add you can add like this so here i have added one more image and here i will paste the same image here you can add multiple images or company logos and everything on your a part and here select the menu control and menu control have a properties called orientation orientation here is by default vertical I'll make that one as horizontal and select the menu control auto format select colorful 
click on ok and here you can give bold here you can give double x large menu control generally in so many websites you can see the menu items will be there in order to display in that manner so menu control will have a property called items right click on properties here you can see a property called items click on ellipse button or simply you can select the menu control click on edit menu items both are same here i am adding some items and this is a root item this is a child item this is a delete item remove an item select the root item the text i'll give as home select the another root item the text i'm giving as about us means that home base about us base select another root item the text i'll give as contact us select uh, the root item the text i'll give as login and within the root item i will add two child items child item one and a child item two the child item one text i will try to give as job seeker and child item two the text i will give as job provider this child items we cannot display in the design time we can display only at run time click on ok here you can check you can display only the parent items uh, uh, at the design time the child items you can display at run time only so here you can go to um, tree view control similarly select auto format uh, different formats are there here i will select contacts click on okay and here give bold here give large so menu control we will have the properties here like uh, edit nodes here also will add the same root items select the first root item the text i'll give as home second root item these are two different styles that uh, to display the design actually you can use anyone among them similarly contact us similarly here you can give login and below that i will add two child items like the first one i will try to give the child item as job seeker and the second one i will try to give the child item as job provider click on okay is it clear so this is my content placeholder if you want to display any copyrights or any other items here you can display i'll give my facebook uh, address www.facebook.com/groups/worldof.net just here whatever the design generally we'll try to display the copyrights at this particular part that that part is also constant throughout the website now whenever user clicks on home it has to redirect to home page similarly so in order to execute the page here we have to add the um, aspx pages so i'll go to project add new item i will select web form using master page and the name here i will try to give as home home.aspx add button select the demo site one dot master click on ok go to the design here you can simply i will display one message here welcome to home page generally you have to do the design of home page in this space similarly go to the project add new item select web form the name i will try to give as about us dot aspx add button ok button and here you can simply display a message saying that welcome to about us space and similarly go to the project add new item select web form the name i will try to give as contact us dot aspx add button ok button here i will give the design generally here i am not designing you design depending on your requirement so i'll give welcome to contact us space i am simply displaying the message here that's it 
similarly go to the project add new item the name i will try to give here as job seeker job seeker dot aspx okay button here i will try to go to the table insert table number of rows 2 columns i'll give 1 okay and here i'll give job seeker login job seeker login i'll try to give here and here i will try to drag and drop the login control so go to the toolbox under login controls microsoft has given login control and uh, create user wizard control simply i will drag and drop the login control onto my design window select the login control select ellipse button auto format colorful click on ok here you can give the bold here you can select the size double x large have given and here within the log so within the login control we are having a property called create user text here i'll give the create user text as register so i want to display the register within my login control and whenever user clicks on register it has to navigate to another page register.aspx so go to the project add new item select the web form the name of the web form i will try to give here as register.aspx click on add button for the registration page i am not adding any master page i am not integrating any master page and whenever user clicks on register it has to navigate to register.aspx so here i am having a property called create user url and select register.aspx so now whenever user clicks on register button it has to navigate to register.aspx space is it clear so within the registration base I am doing the design here. Insert table, number of rows to, columns to, press tab button. Here I will go to the toolbox and there I will try to drag and drop the label control and here I will try to drag and drop the text box control. Is it clear? Similarly, I will add some other labels also. I will paste it. Some four labels I am taking and here I want to add the text boxes some text boxes i will try to add here now within the label go to the properties text i will try to give enter username and here select the label properties the text i will give as enter password select the label the text i will give as enter phone number select the label the text i will give as enter address something like this I have designed my base and now so whenever user clicks on register it will navigate to registration base I want to add one more base go to project add new item the name I will give as job provider dot aspx but I want to add master page for job provider dot aspx so here I want to add the master page for job provider add new item select web form using master page because I want to attach the master page for job provider page so job provider dot aspx add button ok button go to the design here also i want to take one login control so go to the toolbox drag and drop the login auto format colorful okay bold and here i will give double x large now go to your home.aspx or go to solution explorer right click on home.aspx but before that here we have to set the uh, navigation part and whenever user clicks on home it has to go to home page so go to demo site one dot master that your master page select the menu control click on uh, edit menu items select home navigate url is equals to home dot aspx that is whenever you